Hi. Hi. Ryan, do you know what my major and degree is? I know you switched it around a lot. I didn't have to word it that way. I mean, switched it around a lot. No, I, I mean, I know you were wanting to go into teaching and school administration, so I know education is in there. I know cool. you were doing uh, something with, like, bio, but then also something with psych. So, like, you were doing something like psych pre-med or something like that. I forget exactly mm -hmm. where it has ended up. I remember pieces of the process. Cool. Okay. I'm wondering if you did. So I'm a uh, finance major on my last quarter in finance, but I'm going to education. You're a finance now? <laughs> Psych. <laughs> Psychology. <laughs> I'm just going to see how, how hard off I could throw you on that one. <laughs> it was a test and I used it. As a teacher, if you get a B minus, you passed, but... Hmm. I passed, yeah. but not well. Yeah, you passed. Could be better. <laughs> Ryan, test of friendship. Do you know where in Southern California? The thing is, I'm actually not sure if I, I know you are in between La Sierra and Loma Linda, and I know it favors Loma Linda. So I know places in that area like Riverside. Um, I think is Kimmy in Redlands. I want to say Kimmy Yang is in Redlands, and you're in. The thing is, Riverside is more La Sierra based, so I don't think that's where you're living. Are you also in Redlands? Yep. Okay. I'm actually right at the border of Redlands and Loma Linda. So the sh exit you'd get off to get to my apartment is is the border, is the road of the, that borders both sides. So you turn right, you're in Cal uh, Loma Linda, you turn left, you're in Redlands, and okay. invariably my apartment. Cool. Fun fact. Stephen Colbert was talking, like we watched one of his uh, Late Show things, and he was talking about how like he's getting bald right here, and I'm like, I think I am too, because I <laughs> like this every day. And he's like, it's getting big enough. We could we could rent out some ad space right here. It's <laughs> <laughs> ad <me> thinking. <laughs> um, okay, I'm ready. Uh, he died, so every friend has to die for their friend. No pressure. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> no, no, no pressure at all. You could argue he did it so that I don't have to do it for you. Ah, oh, okay, cool. <laughs> Ooh, good. <laughs> true, true. I like the stick analogy. <laughs> Everything I have is an analogy. Always, always analogies. You know me, I rely pretty heavily on illustrations as well. Yes. I try to reference superheroes like as often as I can, it seems. <laughs> I, I, my analogy is always just random, random things. As random as I can get. Being a teacher, I have to just start building my little bag of analogies that I could, oh, let me pull this one out. Let me pull this one out. Let me pull this one out. Avengers Infinity War. Groot was, teenage Groot was playing a video game the whole time. He was absolutely useless. What's the point of this? Not, they had, it served no purpose other than a story. Um, yeah. But then when it came down to it, I mean, obviously, you know, if you haven't seen it, this is on you now. Uh, it grows put Storm, uh, Stormbreaker to, in two, uh, from two to one puts together and cuts the whole arm off, and there you go. Yeah. Um, so that tool had nothing to do. You may have a friend that's absolutely useless, and it's just a game. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Other than pure, <laughs> whatever, but just, okay, don't use it. <laughs> just take that out of context. Be like, you might have a friend that's absolutely useless. I just, just put that out of, out of context clip in <laughs> the blooper. <laughs> <laughs> oh man I mean it's true yeah <laughs> permission to do that possibly by all means <laughs> so Rajesh am I a good friend you gave me a B minus earlier so. I did give you a B minus I mean in this, in this in this if we have to aggregate everything together then, I mean, yes, obviously, yes, you're very much so a good friend. I, I think by definition, if you have a friend, they are good friends. Fair, fair. And if you, if you define them as not a good friend, are they a friend? Should they be a friend? Or you're a good friend, too. <laughs> cool. Good to know. My yeah. ego is boosted. <laughs> <laughs> I hold this opinion that my friends, that's, that's a fact, that's not going to change. Whether one plus one, however you feel about one plus one, 
equal in two, it doesn't matter, it just is. Um, so I think at some point, in my mind, at some point, you, it just becomes fact, you just are. For me, the question of why are we still friends? Yes. It's like that, it's just like, is it a square? If you have a cylinder, is it a square or a circle, or a rectangle or a circle? Yes. Um, it's just a fact, once that, uh, the feeling of us as of friends is elevated to a fact, just will always be that way. We don't talk that often. Maybe talk a handful of times throughout the year. We don't see each other often, rather. But because we've defined ourselves to be friends, bam, there you go. It just is. Yeah, that makes sense. Because there are a lot of people like I've been friends with in high school, college, you know, just in life in general. And it wasn't any like bad thing that kept us, that stopped us from talking. It was just... Yeah life and, and it, yeah and i mean if life happens and you don't talk as much okay that doesn't mean they're not if a friend necessarily it just may not be an active friend i guess you could say yeah. uh, it's not to say that if you were to reconnect you guys wouldn't keep talking and whatnot uh i think maybe the idea is if the potentials of you being able to share things gets a little more challenging and once that um <laughs> blooper <laughs> um I think when there's distance or something that causes you no longer to be able to engage the things that you share, that's where people will start to say our friendship is no longer existing. But it's not to say that it couldn't come back based on that. So why say it doesn't exist when you haven't, you know, I mean, you just, just are. Um, I mean, what I have a friend, Brandon, other I- than us recently starting to play Catan over Zoom, we may be t- once to twice a year uh, maybe only ever saw each other once every other year we just are we're just friends it just exists we've made the conscious effort to go through different things together like my trials your trials we've helped each other with you know both of those and yeah have fun in the good times that it's like like what you were saying we made it into a fact mine i could hate you one day but you're still my friend <laughs> i mean i Obviously, the statistical likelihood of that happening is very unlikely. But in theory, in theory. Yeah, yeah, in theory. I mean, I have beaten you in Catan a fair amount, so... <sighs> I've been beaten a lot of that amount. <laughs> You're still my friend, even though you beat me in Catan. Doesn't stop me from being competitive. It's a game I'm winning. And you did win... Uh... Or you're losing, one of the two. You did win a couple games ago. Yeah, I did. And then Brandon won our last game. Trevor's the only one that hasn't won on the app yet. He's won in person. Has he, though? I think he has once. I think he came close once, but then, like, I think he was in the lead, and we were all scared that he was going to win, so we all ganged up against him. That's what I remember. I thought he's won at least once. Oh, we have to ask now. I, I, think, he, I think he has won at least once. Um, I know it always goes back and forth between you and Brandon. I know I never win, so this was genuinely a first for me. Uh, like, just period. Um, but I definitely thought Trevor had at least won once. We'll ask. We'll have to ask. So what's funny is while we're talking about Trevor, he literally just texted. <laughs> the text alerts are my family. So I feel like... I wonder if I can mute them on the laptop, but Nikki still gets them on her phone? Mutes on laptop, doesn't get any message. Family emergency. What? I'm just seeing this. I sent it to you like 2 p.m. today. Oh, oh, I didn't. And mine's like, um, I didn't. Why? Why is it muted? Um, hey, look, this is better. <laughs> right. I'm clicking do not disturb. It has probably affect Nikki's phone, but I also think that the bedroom door is open, so hopefully she can hear the fact that I put my family on do not disturb it also might go over better that i put my family on do not disturb not her family oh uh, that's true okay. <laughs> oh i don't even, i haven't told you speaking of blood um it's <laughs> a great transition yeah okay um, i don't know how to feel <laughs> that's that's what i'm calling i've titled the lesson thicker than blood oh nice. because you know how it says like uh blood is thicker than water that's yes. about how family is tighter than friends well, the Bible tells us that there is a friend that is closer than a brother. So apparently, 
there was something thicker than blood is what I talk about in the intro. Plasma. <laughs> yes. Plasma. Plasma is thicker than blood. So molasses. Molasses. <laughs> well, not in your blood, but would be thicker okay, than plasma. We'll say plasma. <laughs> That's in your blood somewhere. Yeah. This one's just for curiosity and for fun. Do you happen to remember how we met and or how we became friends? Yes, old. Yes, I do actually. Um, it was old, old Spencerville on the gym. We were in jazz band together. So that's how we knew who we, we were, was we played in jazz band together. And I don't know what, but we were standing on the stage doing something, talking about something. And I think I asked for your number. <laughs> And then we started to, and then that's from it. And I remember we texted similarly, so we called each other twins. Our names both started with R. Yes. Um, and our style of texting was almost identical and twins and hit all histories, history from there. What's the saying? It's all history from there. It's all. Something like that. Um, I remember we did, we did, like we kept, as we got to know each other, we kept finding things that were the same, like our texting style, R, yeah. both in jazz band. Um, both played a tenor we instrument. Yeah, and I think we were both uh, class pastors at the time. Yes, well, both uh, class pastors, and then both essay pastors. At some point, we just kind of we just owned it. We just kind of just pulled things out of the air. <laughs> yeah, at some point, I do think we were stretching things, but yeah. oh well. <laughs> <laughs> but here we are. <laughs> yeah, what's done is done. <laughs> <laughs> Damage has been done. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to stop recording. Okay, bye.